Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel. In today's video, we are going to derive one of the most beautiful equation. So let's start. Let roots of the equation x square minus x minus 1 equal to 0 be alpha and beta. So from here, we will get alpha equal to alpha square minus 1 and beta equal to beta square minus 1. From these two identities, we will also get beta equal to 1 minus alpha. Now let a1 be equal to alpha minus beta upon alpha minus beta. a2 be equal to alpha square minus beta square upon alpha minus beta. a3 be equal to alpha cube minus beta cube upon alpha minus beta and so on till a n equal to alpha to the n minus beta to the n upon alpha minus beta. Now adding all these equations. So now we will get a1 plus a2 plus a3 plus dot 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 plus a n equal to alpha minus beta plus alpha square minus beta square plus alpha cube minus beta cube plus dot 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 plus alpha to the n minus beta to the n upon alpha minus beta. Now this will be equal to 1 upon alpha minus beta into alpha plus alpha square plus alpha cube plus dot 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 plus alpha to the n minus beta plus beta square plus beta cube plus dot 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 plus beta to the n. Now we can see that these two forms a geometric progression. So after applying the formula for sum of the infinite terms of the GP, we will get equal to 1 upon alpha minus beta into alpha into alpha to the n minus 1 upon alpha minus 1 minus beta into beta to the n minus 1 upon beta minus 1. Now from here we can write alpha equal to alpha square minus 1. Now from here we can write alpha equal to alpha square minus 1 and beta equal to beta square minus 1. So this will be equal to 1 upon alpha minus beta into alpha square minus 1 into alpha to the n minus 1 upon alpha minus 1 minus beta square minus 1 into beta to the n minus 1 upon beta minus 1. Now after applying the identity of a square minus b square here, we will get 1 upon alpha minus beta into alpha plus 1 into alpha to the n minus 1 minus beta plus 1 into beta to the n minus 1. Now after opening the brackets, we will get 1 upon alpha minus beta into alpha to the n plus 1 plus alpha to the n minus alpha minus 1 minus beta to the n plus 1 minus beta to the n plus beta plus 1. Now we can rewrite this as 1 upon alpha minus beta into alpha to the n into alpha plus 1 minus beta to the n into beta plus 1 minus alpha minus beta. Now we know that alpha plus 1 is equal to alpha square and beta plus 1 is equal to beta square. So we will get 
वन अपॉन अल्फा माइनस बीटा इंटू अल्फा टू दी एन इंटू अल्फा स्क्वेर डेट इज अल्फा टू दी एन प्लस टू माइनस बीटा टू दी एन इंटू बीट बीटा स्क्वेर डेट इज माइनस बीटा टू दी एन प्लस टू माइनस वन नाउ वी कैन सी गेट दिस थिंग इज इक्वल टू ए एन प्लस टू सो वी विल गेट ए एन प्लस टू माइनस वन हैंस वी हैव प्रूव गेट ए वन प्लस ए टू प्लस ए थ्री प्लस डॉट 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 प्लस ए टू दी एन विल बी इक्वल टू ए टू दी एन प्लस टू माइनस वन नाउ फ्रॉम हियर we also know that this thing is also equal to this thing so we will get alpha into alpha to the n minus 1 upon alpha minus 1 minus beta into beta to the n minus 1 upon beta minus 1 whole upon alpha minus beta equal to alpha to the n plus 2 minus beta to the n plus 2 upon alpha minus beta minus 1 now from here we know that roots of this equation are the golden ratio phi and minus 1 by phi so we will get from this identity minus 1 by phi is equal to 1 minus phi so beta will be equal to 1 minus phi so now after replacing alpha with phi and beta with 1 minus phi we will get phi into phi to the n minus 1 upon phi minus 1 minus 1 minus 5 into 1 minus 5 whole to the n minus 1 upon 1 minus 5 minus 1 equal to 5 to the n plus 2 minus 1 minus 5 to the n plus 2 plus 2 phi minus 1 now after taking lcm and dividing both sides by this thing we will get phi square into phi to the n minus 1 minus phi minus 1 the whole square into 1 minus phi whole to the n minus 1 upon phi to the n plus 2 minus 1 minus phi whole to the n plus 2 minus 2 phi plus 1 equal to 1 now after multiplying both sides by minus sign we will get phi minus 1 the whole square into 1 minus phi whole to the n minus 1 minus phi square into phi to the n minus 1 upon phi to the n plus 2 minus 1 minus phi whole to the n plus 2 minus 2 phi plus 1 equal to minus 1 that is e to the pi i and this is our final result and now here is a proof get challenge for all of you prove that integration from limits minus a to plus a of f of x dx upon 1 plus lambda to the g of x is equal to 1 by 2 into integration from minus a to plus a of f of x dx where f of x is an even function g of x 
is an odd function and lambda is any positive real number. That's it for today. Stay safe and take care.